so we got a little puddle here. And it still looks like it worked amazingly well. I'm actually really surprised. What's going on guys? I got some mud flaps here. Uh, so I am really excited about these. Um, so these are from the Model 3 Part Shop. They sent these to me to review for you. Uh, but to be totally honest, I actually had some in my cart on Amazon. I was just about to buy them and they emailed me. And they said, hey, do you wanna try these out? We'll send them to you. And I said, okay, yeah. So let's check out what came in the box. All right, so I already unwrapped them and everything, but this is a uh, flap. This one is for the back. You get two for the back and two for the front. So you can see there are four there. And then they also come with these screws and rivets. Um, you do have to drill two holes uh, in the front, um, but just through the plastic, just tiny little holes um, for these screws to go through. So I'll show you how to do all that. So I'm gonna wash the car. You need to wash the car to install these. It says to have the area clean, but then I'm gonna immediately go drive on the dirt roads and I'm gonna see how well these protect um, from little rocks and from dirt. Um, so I'll just show them to you first, and then if you're interested, uh, I'll have the install at the end of this video. There'll be timestamps below. Also to go along with the mud flaps, kind of like a protect your car theme, these door latch covers. Um, I will install these and I'll show you how those look. If you're interested in buying any of these, the links will be in the description and you can use the code DIRTYTESLA4 to get 10% off. So all you gotta do is clip it over like that, and I put it on the top, and then, and then you click the bottom. It's pretty hard to do, but now that it's on there, it looks nice and it's very secure. So only for the back seat, you flip over to the front of the door and this piece goes right here. And it just slides on like that, very easy. And it just looks a little nicer. I'm not sure that piece is necessary so much, but it's in the kit. Again, it's only for the back seat. The front seat has a different design than that. Uh, but these look really nice, um, and they're just to protect that metal a little bit. And then the door closes just the same. So then for the front seat, installation is the same. Just slide it on, click both sides on. It's pretty hard, but you push really firmly and it'll click on. And that's it for the front seat. All right, so here they are installed. We got the mud flaps. I mean, they're not very flappy, so we can call them splash guards, I guess. I call them mud flaps. Uh, they're pretty subtle, but I really, really like the look. The install was pretty easy. I had a little trouble getting my popper rivets out. You'll see if you watch that part. Um, I think I was doing something wrong though, honestly. Um, but I got them all out. I got these installed. Um, and we're gonna go see if they actually keep mud off the bottom. So you can see here, I didn't perfectly clean it, um, but I'm kind of in a rush. So we'll see if um, we get a bunch of mud up on there. Now, the only thing I'm a little skeptical about is back here, a big area of concern for people is this right here. Um, and you can see those kind of flecks everywhere. That's actually missing paint um, and from rocks, you know, kicking up and hitting it or, or whatever. Um, obviously, you know, that uh, guard is back there. So is this one going to be enough, you know, to stop stuff from flicking up all the way in the back here? I'm not really sure. Um, but better than nothing, I suppose. The other thing I think people are going to be asking about is the effect on range. Uh, I was going to test it, but, you know, there's no way. <laughs> Let's say these things have a tiny, super tiny effect on range. That's my, I, I'm not sure. Um, I don't really have a perfect way to test it. Nobody does. I would say uh, for a semi-educated guess that these are not going to affect anything at all. Um, but feel free to argue down in the comments. All right, so we're gonna go out on the dirt and test these really quick. It's a little muddy out there, not much, so it's kind of a nice test. It's, it won't be too muddy. I'm um, also gonna be listening for rocks hitting the plastic, because I occasionally I will hear rocks kick up and hit the metal, so let's just step on it. Yeah, I couldn't really tell. Also, I was gonna mount uh, this to the door so you could see, but I couldn't find my mount, so I will just stick it out the window and see how it looks down there. All right, so I'm sticking the E out the window. Hope the angle's good. I obviously can't see what it's recording. So let's try to find a little bit of mud to go through and see how it looks.
Okay, so we got a little puddle here. I don't want to fully go in that puddle, but I mean, I just watched the car, guys. Come on. All right, so we hit hit a puddle, and that definitely would have kicked some up. So we'll see. All right, so really quick, this is post puddle, and it looks really good. I don't think anything hit it, and look at that. This thing is covered in dirt. So, so far that worked. And if we look at the other side, this side was not in the puddle. You can see it's obviously clean there and pretty clean in there as well. So now let's hit this side with the puddle and so you can see it with the Yi. All right, I forgot to film within the car on that one, but I had the Yi sticking out the window. I hit the puddle going faster on the way back on the other side, and it still looks like it worked amazingly well. I'm actually really surprised. So you can see that's covered in mud in there. And over here, I mean, these are left over from when I washed it, but this is still clean. That worked really well. And then actually back here, I hit a puddle, which uh, I didn't get recorded. Um, but again, you can see full of mud in there. And this is just, again, me sucking when I was washing the car. This is all old stuff. See how it's dry? Um, there's a little tiny bit of wetness on there, but it protected it. Um, that's very cool. All right, so back from the drive, these things actually seem to work really well. So you can see this side's still pretty clean. Uh, this was the slow side. And then on the faster side here, when I just really splashed in the puddle, we did get some uh, mud back there, uh, but not unreasonable. Um, so I'm really happy with these. We're gonna install these. I'm just doing it live. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm following the directions. I'll show you. I have the wheel turned so that I can get in there. All right, so step one was clean. We did that. I will put this picture up so you can see the steps. Uh, step two is check for FL, for front left, FR, whatever. Uh, there are marks on the flat for proper placement. And they say, please use the screws they provide. So I'm looking here. I don't know about you. I don't see any markings at all. I really could be missing it, but I don't see it anywhere. Uh, but it's it's pretty obvious, so, you know, this obviously isn't fitting here. Right? So, there, now it fits. The front has three, one, two, three, and the back only has two. Uh, so we know this is the front, and then there are already clips in the Tesla right here, um, and the only place you have to drill is for this top one and just a tiny little hole into the plastic. See, there's nothing back there, no metal. Um, and then you put the screw in the plastic like that. Okay, so first thing we need to do is get these little rivets out and we're not gonna use these again. So it looks like there's a space at the top here. So this one broke. Um, that is how you're supposed to get it out, but the plastic just kind of fell apart. So now I have to figure out how to get this stupid thing out of here. Oh, there we go. Came right out. So if yours breaks, just keep uh, messing with it and it'll pop out. Now you're supposed to get the top part out first, but mine just keep breaking. You can see the plastic just broke there. So I'm just forcing it out. Okay, so that went terribly. Hopefully your install goes a little better. This is the driver's side, so let's see if these come off a little nicer. Yeah, so that comes right out, and that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, it's, you know, kind of stayed in one piece, um, and very easy. But luckily we don't need them. We are provided with a bunch of these additional ones, and we are going to use them here. Okay, so they say to line this up. Put the bottom, there's two pieces here. So this is the bottom piece, the hole, and then the solid piece is the top. So they say to line this up, put the bottom piece in first. So that's in there, and then you put the top piece through. That should secure it. Look at that, it's on there, really nice. And then we do that one more time. Very easy, and we're secure. Now we just need to do the part nobody wants to do, drill a hole. They do say to use your smallest drill bit. It's just to allow the screw to get started. 
Um, you could, I guess, just force the screw in there, but you might make a mistake and you don't want to do that. So here's my tiny little drill bit there. <laughs> a little ridiculous, but let's do it. So you want to make sure you have this in the right position. I'm trying to film at the same time, so it might look a little goofy. And just drill into the middle here. There we go. Okay. Oh man, this is awesome. So it's on there nicely, nice and secure. Let's take a look. Oh yes, I like the look of that. Let's just hope it's functional too. All right, so here's the back at the passenger side. This should be even easier than the front. Here's the piece that goes there. You have a hole here and a hole on the bottom. So you line this up and there's a pop rivet here and then there's actually, I'll show you, oh you can see it, a 10 millimeter bolt down here that you remove and you just put this piece back on. But this piece, let's see if that comes off a little nicer than the front. I mean, when you take these off, they break, but I just couldn't get those other ones off. See, that's how it's supposed to come off. That was a lot nicer. Okay, and then the bottom, which you can see from that angle, it's very difficult for me to see, it's pretty low. Just can remove that. So don't lose this, because you're gonna reuse this one. So for in here, it's the same deal as the front. You put the bottom piece in first, except there's only one this time. I'm having trouble getting that high enough, so I'm going to try to put the bolt back first, see if that makes it a little easier on me. All right, now that the bolt is secure, yeah, that fits right in there, so I made it a lot easier. So do the bolt first, and then pop that in after. And we are golden. Very cool. So here is what the passenger side looks like. Oh, man, <laughs> that looks awesome. I just, I totally forgot about it, and walking up here, I don't know, it looks really cool. Really liking it. All right, so that's it for this one. Highly recommended. I love these. I love the way they look on the car, um, and they actually perform. I was surprised how much mud they really blocked, because uh, I know most of you out there aren't going through huge mud puddles like that. Um, and they worked really well. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Use the code DIRTYTESLA4 to get 10% off of these. See you next time.